Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. Well, today I'm going to take another step out into one of the danger areas of photography, answer one of the questions that I get quite often, and well, probably offend some people and probably get some nasty comments from other people, but relax people. This is my opinion. What's the question? Well, the question is, how long will my new digital camera last? Or how long will my used digital camera last? And should I buy a used digital camera over a new digital camera? Will it last longer? I don't know. Sorry. That's the answer. End of the video. Goodbye. No, seriously, there is really no way to tell. If the camera looks in good shape, sure, it'll probably last longer than one that looks like it was dragged behind a horse for three days. But really, it's so hard to tell. Camera manufacturers will tell you that there's a suggested shutter life on the camera. So camera A should get 250,000 shutter actuations, whereas camera B should get half a million. That means nothing, absolutely nothing. I bought two 70D cameras at the same time. Uh, about four years ago, five years ago, maybe even longer, I was out for a drive with one of the cameras. I was taking some pictures and the shutter went. Just went. The other camera, I said, just as much, if not more use. It's even five years longer and the shutter's still running perfectly. Who knows? Electronics, another area. You just don't know. It could be a flaw in a circuit board. It could be anything. You could have a battery surge that fries something. You just don't know. Now, what should you do? Well, here's a couple things. First of all, if you're shooting for money, if you're shooting a wedding, if you're shooting family pictures, if you're shooting anything and people are relying on you, have two cameras. Please get two cameras. One camera is, that, that's like playing Russian roulette with only one bullet removed. You know something's going to happen sooner or later. It's just a matter of when. Get two cameras. If it was my choice, I would get two lower price cameras, and I've done this, than one more expensive camera. Why? Because no matter how cheap or how expensive the camera is, you can have problems with it. So why not have two bodies where there's less chance of having the bodies both break down at the same time? Sure, it may not be the newest, it may not be the best, but at least having two bodies gives you a backup. Likewise with lenses. Now, generally, generally, lenses you have less problems with than you do with the bodies. Generally but you can still have problems. So have backup lenses. No, you don't need two 24 to 70s. Maybe one 24 to 70 and one 18 to 135. Maybe a 24 to 70 and a 24 to 105. You don't need the exact same lenses, but at least have backup lenses. Now, if you are buying cameras and you are running a business, should you get the extended warranty? Eh. No. Seriously, if you're running a business and if you're buying new cameras and the extended warranty is good coverage and it's not a ton of money, get the extended warranty. It'll extend the warranty from one year to two years or two years to four years or whatever, from whatever it is. Get the extended warranty because at least you're guaranteed for that amount of time that you'll be able to send your cameras in and get them repaired should anything last, which makes it a little bit easier to calculate your replacement if you're running a business. I know, if I go today and buy a camera and it has a one year warranty, that that camera will last me at least one year. Should it last longer? Well, it should, but I know that it will last me at least one year because I have warranty coverage on it. If I take out an additional two year warranty or three year warranty on it, I know that that extra money should give me a camera that'll last for that many years even if it has to go in for repair. It's a shot in the dark. Check the extended warranty. Check to make sure there's no special terms on it. Check to make sure that there's no special little questions that you forgot to answer or that they're asking this or that and you have to send this in or you have to check it really carefully before you spend the money. Some of the warranties, the extended warranties, are a little bit shady. Some of them are really wide open and they'll cover anything. So beware. Now, and this is a big one, should you buy a used camera? My thoughts personally are, I would not buy a used camera 
unless I was getting it for an insanely low price. So let's say right today, uh, Canon 5D Mark IV. Somebody walked in the door who I knew that was selling a relatively new 5D Mark IV. I wouldn't give them more than 500 bucks for it. Yes, I'm cheap. But you know what? I really don't know what's happened to that camera. And even for 500 bucks, you may be wasting $500. Test it out, make sure it's good, but you just don't know. So for me, I hate buying used cameras, even from people that I know. I would buy used lenses before I would buy a used camera. So beware. I even hate selling used cameras because I don't know if that camera is going to last them for a day, a week, a month, a year, five years, or 10 years. Many years ago, I sold an old digital camera. I had shot it for 10 years. I sold it for, I think it was 200 bucks. It was in really good shape. It was had some wear marks on it and stuff, but it, everything was working perfectly. That guy shot it for another five years until he dropped it and it worked perfectly. That's the exception in my book rather than the rule. Most cameras, 15 years, shooting them as much as I did and that he did, that was the, that was amazing. I really don't like used cameras, so beware. What about buying a used camera with a warranty? If you can find it from a reputable company, go for it. Be careful though where you're buying it from. There are companies online, there's companies in different cities that sell used cameras with a five year or a four year or a six month or whatever warranty that you can buy. Well, a lot of times by the time you factor in the cost of the used camera plus the warranty, you're almost to the price of a new camera. So beware for that. So I hope this helped. I know it's not a hundred percent. Yes, this is, or that is, but honestly, buying anything nowadays is a gamble. So get out there, get some pictures while your camera is still working. And I hope your camera doesn't break down and have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.